all looked in awe as we stood in front of a massive aircraft carrier or seen pictures or videos of this gigantic beast of a machine. Have you ever wondered what it takes to protect these ships from enemy attacks? Today we're looking at China's newest AEW, or Airborne Early Warning Aircraft, which they named as KJ-600, to scour the skies and keep the carrier strike group safe. Welcome back to Vehicle Radar, and stay with us as we uncover the new secret weapon of the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy, the KJ-600. In the modern world, there is one machine of war that's the biggest and deadliest of all when it comes to combat abilities, and that is no other than the aircraft carriers in the world of aircraft carriers. The United States of America stands above all and creates and hosts the largest fleet of aircraft carriers, but that's not all. The US Navy has advanced so much in aircraft carriers now, they're releasing a new breed of them called Super Carriers, which in simple terms is a fortress of the water. One that moves on its own and has defense capabilities and could also host a barrage of advances, warplanes, and fighter jets for bombing machines and to support troops in the ground and any warfare in the sea. These aircraft carriers can decide who wins at the end and are thus indispensable. However, the hostility between the countries of China and the US is not a new thing. We see a new incident about it almost every day. And even today, we see that China is ready to send warplanes to intercept diplomats from visiting Taiwan. However, in case of a war, the US is a battle-hardened force ready to spring into action in the worst-case scenario. China is very well aware of this fact and is scrambling to build as many super carriers as possible, so China can match the prowess of the American Navy in any sea-based warfare, and has developed a strategy to have six new super carriers built in the next 10 years. After they put their plan into action, they have already rolled out their fourth aircraft carrier, which is Type 004. However, they lack one very important thing, and that is speed. The mass of the ship and the payload it carries, which includes both personal and equipment, can make some aircraft carriers, such as the Nimitz supercarriers, weigh in just under 100,000. The aircraft carriers themselves are very well protected up to a point, but if an aircraft carrier was alone, it would not take much for an enemy warship to catch up to the slow-moving aircraft carrier and sink it. So in order to stand a chance to at least change their course and reach safer ground, or at least prepare for such situations, most modern aircraft carriers have a carrier-based plane that can take off from their deck and do surveillance of the surrounding area. One of the most advanced and one of the longest running of these aircraft, is called the Airborne Early Warning, or the AEW aircraft, is the Northrop Grumman E-2 Hawkeye. This kind of aircraft can detect other ships, missiles, and other missiles from a greater distance, and can also relay this information back to the aircraft carriers, and can also assume command of both the air and sea to regroup or launch a combined assault against the enemy, as we spoke earlier. In this day and age, information is key. You can have all the powerful guns and missiles in this world, but knowing where you point them to make all the difference in the world, in some cases quite literally as well, and that is where the airborne early warning aircraft come in and they can prove very efficient and not only can they detect these streets, they can also track them real time and also differentiate between friend and foe at the same time in order to work efficiently. These planes also work as sentry aircraft flying over the fleet of warships to warn them of the incoming enemy forces. And they are able to do that because of their distinctive shape if the plane and that is the radar that's mounted on top of these planes which gives them incredible ranges of watching over the sky, sea and land. With China increasing the number of its aircraft carriers, it also needs to figure out ways to protect them. And one of the latest ones they have opted for it is by building an all-new airborne early warning aircraft. And it seems like China is not just after the naval capabilities of the US Navy, but also wanting to take the army on in the air as well. The KJ-600 will be China's first fixed-wing airborne early warning aircraft that's capable of taking off and landing an aircraft carrier. The plane is built by Xi'an Aircraft Industrial Corporation. Its first maiden flight was in the northwestern area of the city of Xi'an, which is also where the industry that makes the KJ-600 is located in. The first flight of the KJ-600 was in August of 2020, and we have just received some of the latest photos in the plane. If you look at the plane, you can see that it looks very vivid, and like any plane you see in the skies, the KJ-600 you see in the photos has very distinctive bright green and white colors. These colors are painted on the plane so it's easier for the engineers to see any faults that may appear when they conduct test flights. These vivid green and white colors also act as a protective shield to save the important parts of the aircraft from corrosion before the final layers of paint are added. We can also see that the KJ-600 had a protruding pilot tube which further confirms that this is a prototype since this is used to measure wind speeds. 
In terms of technology for this aircraft, China has definitely not skimped on its budget. And we can see this by the active electronically scanned array, or AESA Raiders, which is one of the more advanced and more sophisticated types of Raiders to exist in this world. And they're certainly not cheap or easy to maintain. The KJ-600 plans to match the prowess and the technological feats that are being carried out by the Northrop Grumman E-2 Hawkeye by the US Navy. The KJ-600 is a huge boost for the aircraft carriers of China, even though the aircraft carriers have fire jets to help defend them. It takes time for the jets to be mobilized, and the small gap would be all it takes for an enemy aircraft or a ship to damage the aircraft carrier beyond repair. China has land-based early warning aircraft that can be deployed from one of China's bases, such as the KJ-2000 or the KJ-500. But now with the KJ-600, these carriers can be notified of the enemy presence or any unknown ship or aircraft on its path towards the carrier without the need to call in additional help. The current operating early warning systems on the aircraft carriers are the helicopters that they had on board in having an airborne early warning aircraft like the KJ-600 in the aircraft carriers is a step ahead of the Chinese Navy. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy has also reported that they're not going to stop there, and as we speak, they're planning to increase the speed, the range, and the payload to much greater than the US have right now, so they can beat them at their own game. The KJ-600 with its twin turboprop engines will not be able to take off from the two of the already existing aircraft carriers as they have a ski-based platform at the end of the runway or other Russian-based aircraft carriers they have in their fleet. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy has confirmed that all future aircraft carriers that they built will have a flat runway to facilitate the taking off and landing of the carrier-based KJ-600 aircraft to increase the strength of the carrier strike group and to make them more situationally aware of the battlefield. The Type 003 aircraft carrier launched by China just in the month of June 2022 features a flat deck and a catapult system that will bring the aircrafts up to speed as they reach the end of the runway, and we will soon see the KJ-600 in operation as the Type 003 carrier was launched in preparation to house the KJ-600. It seems that we see a lot of China getting more and more ready to take on almost any other army in the world. And with advancements like the KJ-600, they're clearly onto something there. What do you think about the new KJ-600 by the Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy? Do you think that it'll live up to its hype? Let's know in the comments about your thoughts. And remember, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we roll out our next video.